Welcome to Healthy Ever After and I am nutritionist and chef Fiona McEnroy and today we are going to be making sweet potato brownies. The kids on my online classes never get tired of making this recipe, they just love it. So here are the ingredients, let's get started. First we take one large sweet potato, peel it, wash it and chop it into cubes. Here you can see I am steaming my sweet potato, but if you don't have a steamer, it's okay to boil them. Sweet potato don't take as long as regular potatoes, so after about 20 minutes, check them with a fork and you can see that they're nice and soft and ready for mashing. Next we are going to make our oat flour. We do this by putting porridge oats into a smoothie maker and blitzing it for about 20 seconds until it's a nice fine flour. You can also buy oat flour in the health food shops, but why would you when you can make your own? Using the same smoothie maker container, we're going to crush some roasted hazelnuts. Only this time, just pulse it a little bit, as this time we only want to break them up a little bit. Now that we have prepared all of our ingredients, it is time to start assembling our brownie. First, start by adding your sweet potato to a large mixing bowl. Then add your sweetener. I'm using maple syrup here, but you could use honey or agave. Then I'm going to add my almond butter. Feel free to add any kind of nut butter that you prefer. Then after I add my vanilla extract, I'm going to add my melted coconut oil. At this point, you want to make sure that the ingredients are well mixed together. Next, I am going to sieve my cacao powder and my baking powder into the mix. After we've mixed in the chocolate, you can see that it's starting to look more like a brownie and less like a sweet potato. But keep going, we're nearly there. Next, we're going to add the oat flour and about half of the crushed hazelnuts. Make sure it's well mixed. We don't want to see any of the orange of the sweet potato. All that's left to do now is add your brownie mixture to a prepared tin, then smooth it out on top and sprinkle it with the leftover hazelnuts and some chocolate chips. This will now go in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 to 35 minutes. After you take it out of the oven, do the knife test. It's okay if it has a little bit of moisture on it as this is quite a moist brownie. And just look how delicious this looks. You never know there's sweet potato in there. And that's it from me in the Healthy Ever After kitchen. I hope you enjoy your sweet potato brownies. See you next time.